today we're at Natalie's Coal Fired Pizza in Worthington. They make pizzas the old world New York way, cooked in a high temperature coal fired oven. The crust deserves attention because it's made with a 100 year old sourdough starter for extra flavor. Pick your toppings or try the seasonal pie with locally sourced ingredients hand picked by the staff. Be sure to check out their calendar too because six nights a week musicians take the stage and Natalie's is fast becoming a nationally ranked venue for acts across the country. I'm meeting Eric Nesda for lunch. He's a longtime Columbus-based musician, plus he hosts a nationally syndicated show like called Songs favorites. at the Center. Have you ever had Natalie's before? No, this is the first time I've been to Natalie's. How's that pepperoni? Mm. Very good. Man, this is good pizza. But I know you've said a lot of times that Central Ohio is a hotbed of singer-songwriters. How, how large a community is that? Well, it's growing every day. I mean, there's hundreds here. You know, we've got lightning in a bottle. Four years ago, when Natalie's opened and the McConnell Center opened, both in Worthington, there were no songwriter events going on at all. And I wanted to bring some of the taste of Nashville where I've been playing regularly in listening rooms I wanted to try to bring that to my home city of Columbus the McConnell Center and then Charlie Jackson here at Natalie's uh, took the risks to to start a songwriter showcase and now four or five nights a week in Columbus you can find open mics and songwriter nights and you actually started a show a TV show called songs at the center on WOSU as a matter of fact Tell me about that show. Songs at the Center is a, a television series that showcases three or four songwriters every given show. And we, we, we are in a format, what we call the in the round format, where three or four songwriters will take turns singing individually, but yet when you put them together collectively, you get, you get a round, you get an entire show out of it. For the songwriter, it provides the opportunity to perform one-on-one -on -one with an audience um, but yet not be alone on stage. For the audience, it provides variety. We get the advantage of the intimacy of the singer-songwriter experience, but yet you hear from three or four different songwriters, so you're hearing different sounds, different approaches. This has to be a huge boost for their careers. One of my goals with Songs at the Center was to raise the awareness of and therefore the value for what we do as singer-songwriters. And it does my heart good when I hear a a uh, songwriter tell me that they just sold CDs in Seattle or San Francisco or Chicago as a result of being on the show, or that they've been booked there. That's what we've been after uh, from the start. Did you expect it to, to grow as much and as fast as it has? We really expected it to be um, a successful local program that, that might have uh, legs beyond Columbus, but we never expected it less than a year later to be on 133 television stations across America in major markets. San Francisco, Seattle, Chicago, uh, Charlotte, Las Vegas, um, Albuquerque. So what are your goals for the future? For, for the TV show, what are your goals for things here at Natalie's? My goal for Songs at the Center is, is really to be uh, a showcase for who we are in Columbus uh, musically and artistically. Every single aspect of our show represents who we are. And uh, to, to know that we're taking the lead in being ambassador for the music scene here in Columbus is just beyond uh, joyful for me. And Eric, you are such a promoter of these singer-songwriters. What advice would you give those who are aspiring to be singer-songwriter? Well, the, the advice that I would give to an aspiring songwriter is the same advice I give to uh, my peers and that I take for myself, and that is that we always have to continue growing and getting better. Learning from people who can do things with a song that we can't. And I would say to the Columbus community that we've got, a, we've got loads of talent here, but our challenge is to get better and better, to use Columbus as our home base but to continue to, to tour and go to other places and learn from the masters who um, have had great success and we can always get better. 
Um, we have top level songwriters here now, but the key is to keep growing and keep improving our craft. Well, Eric, it, it has been a pleasure to see you again. Really a pleasure to talk with you, Thanks, too. Sure. And best of everything with all of these enterprises that are going on.